In this video, I'm going to talk about one of my favorite topics, CRM. We're going to talk about specifically Company Hub, new company that I just came across. Talks about a fully customizable CRM. Well, I'm going to put it to the test, do a brand new install, and show you how to get started and walk you through the product. So stay tuned. Hey everybody, this is David with TechSmart Boss here with another video. I just recently came across this company called Company Hub, fully customizable CRM, another CRM. As you know, I love HubSpot CRM, but as you also know, I'm always looking to try new things. So I was checking out their product and hearing some feedback on the internet and thought I would take a closer look. And their claim to fame is, you know, fully customizable CRM. They've got email sync, they've got bulk reporting, lead management, sales pipeline, some automation. I mean, everything that you would expect in a CRM, they talk about having it here. What really attracted me to them was some of their security. They let you do profile and record level security. And also some of the discussion, they had, of course, integration with Zapier. You know, I love that. They have a mobile interface, which I love as well. And then their automation uh, is really got some pretty cool features in it uh, that I thought was interesting and you know they had a pretty good price point so I wanted to take a look at it and give it a shot so what I'm gonna do in this video is I'm gonna actually go through their onboarding process get inside the application and show you what I see and um, let's let's go ahead and, and, and look at it they have a free trial which you know I love and they don't require a credit card so really appreciate that so let's go ahead and sign up and take a look at this company hub and uh, I'm going to blur out my phone number. You don't need that. So look for some blurs there. And I'll do TechSmartBoss as my email address here and go ahead and sign up for this 14-day free trial. Um, so looks like it's thinking about it. Let's give it a second to bring me back into their onboarding process. All right, so now they sent me a verification email. This is pretty cool. It looks like I can also sign up with Google if I wanted to. You know, I like to sign up with an actual email and password so I'm not hooked into the Google. So I'm gonna pause this for a second and go out here and get my verification code and I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. I got my code. Let's go ahead and pop in a password on this and give this a shot. So I don't want to save this in my browser. It says creating a database. So that's a separate database. That's nice. Everybody, every uh, one of their tenants has a has their own database. And there we are. Look at this. Hello, David Ferguson. Welcome to the company. Now, this is nice. I like this as an onboarding uh, technique. You enter your company name. Let me go ahead and put Tech Smart Boss in here. That's not me, of course. That's some image. They didn't go out and use my email to pick up my uh, Gravatar or something, which would have been even nicer if they had done that and put my picture right there, but that's okay. Uh, currency, all the different currencies are there. I'm US, so let's go ahead and get started. Let's see what else it does. And looks like looks like I'm in their interface so that is a really nice smooth onboarding process and now they're going to give me a quick little tour here now I'm going to go ahead and just exit out of these because I want to do some digging myself now if you notice here it takes me right into the contact section and one of the big things I saw on their website is the bulk updates and the bulk mail and the things you could do with a contact which makes things easy so for example if I wanted to make changes on I could apply filters create new filters and apply filters and if I want to change context all at once if I just double click this is kinda of like Excel I can double click into any of these fields and make changes so in fact let me go ahead and I'll make a quick change just put another letter here you'll notice that that gives me ability to save all these changes so it's very easy to do like kind of your mass edits and things like that let's go ahead and add I'll add myself at my work address let's go ahead and add my company in this I'll click create new company save that company there and I won't do a phone number let's do a quick add let's see how that uh, and then I'll save looks like I'm still in a save thing there Let's go ahead and do a quick ad. All right, there I am. So let's click on my contact name. So what I like about their contact records is everything is in one place, kind of like HubSpot CRM. I mean, honestly, 
I, I other than a few features like the um, the BCC to CRM feature, uh, the sequences, which is part of HubSpot Sales Pro, where you can do some drip uh, sequences on your on your email follow ups. Everything else seems to be in this product, plus some more things that HubSpot CRM doesn't have. Uh, this product has a better Zapier set of Zapier uh, actions and triggers than HubSpot CRM that I found. And the customization, which we're going to pop in here, is really nice uh, here uh, compared to HubSpot CRM. Now you'll notice here I can add notes, I can add conversations, I can add attachments, which is nice. I can pop into the details and edit all these things and bring in social things. One thing that this product doesn't do yet, it doesn't go out to the net and find based on my email address and my name and bring in my social things automatically. I'm sure that's something that they're probably going to add soon. They got this thing I like here that's not in HubSpot CRM. It's called hotness, where it's not how hot the uh, particular contact is. It's how hot of a lead it is. So, for example, if I said that this was a hot lead, then automatically it's going to start to trigger me to make sure I follow up based on the hotness or warmness of this particular lead. And I can even automatically set up some follow ups as well. So really powerful. way. I'll show you that in a second. So uh, I like this hotness section here. We'll talk about in a section new deals, new tasks, all within one place in the contact pipeline. The other thing critical is the task system. They've got the ability for you to sub task. You'll see out of the box they have a couple set up here for me. So their tasks are very powerful. Let's go ahead and edit one of these and take a look at the details. Really simple. You can set a category of what type of task you want. You can assign. I like the way you can assign other people uh, that task associated with a record. So if I want to search for myself, for example, I can quickly associate that with me or a, a company or a deal. There's email tracking. So, and again, this uh, HubSpot CRM gives you about 200 email trackings included for free. And then you could do Sales Pro where you get unlimited. They've got a great Chrome plugin and you can start to track all your emails out. In fact, if I go back to my contacts, you don't even have to put that Chrome plugin in. I can uh, click on this icon right here for mail and send an email right in here. Now, I haven't added any email addresses, so that's why this is kind of in a weird state. But I really like their email because they have built in template support, which again, with HubSpot CRM, you get five templates free, but you have to pay the sales pro um, for a lot of that. But they'll give you that built in email tracking. This is where your follow ups will show up once you have that hotness. So every day, you know, make sure you never miss your leads, which I really like. Of course, deal pipeline, very similar to HubSpot, where they've got the uh, this view as well as the table view. Let's go back to the pipeline view. It's very smooth where I can just drag and drop. You'll notice when I hover, I can quickly indicate a win or loss. They've got the quotes, which is part of their uh, uh, more more advanced package. So by default, that's not enabled. You have to pay extra for that. And that's really not something I use other systems for my quotes and sales orders. Don't really care to have that in CRM. If you do, this is really nice for you. And then they got a pretty advanced reporting section. And, you know, that's coming from a guy who does reporting for a living. This is nice. I like the way that you can make new reports. And they have a really intuitive way where you can create those reports. So I'm, I'm, I'm pretty impressed so far with the reporting section. Last thing I want to show you, and this is really the thing that tipped me over the edge when it came to Company Hub, is if I go into settings, of course, you can import data. You can add other users. As you add other users, you can give them profiles. And then as you create these profiles, you know, you can set the permissions very granularly. So if I go to profiles here, if I went into manager, for example, I'm able to edit this and do all sorts of things like that. So it's a lot of power in terms of all the different fields and everything you can do from a, a profile perspective. So I really like that security. That's something that HubSpot CRM is still missing to this day, even though I think they're going to work on that. You've got the email sync, which is really nice. Uh, I haven't added any email accounts yet, but once I do that, as I get emails from any of my contacts, they're automatically going to be added to the CRM. That's mandatory. you got to have that in the CRM these days. You've got, of course, the Zapier integration, but you also have some lead form integration, which is nice. Um, so that's a really nice feature. But let's look at this customization. Not only can I customize the fields, I can add new tables. Let me show you the difference on this. If I went to customize the fields, 
I'll pick a table. Right now there's company, contact, and deal. Let's go into deal and say I wanted to do my change my deal stages. This is a very easy drag and drop sort of field builder here where I can drag all these sorts of fields and add custom fields extremely easy. Let's click on deal stage and you'll see over here is a pick list for, for now. And if I want to add something like in trial, which is definitely one of my uh, deal stages, I can just add that and drag that right into the place. Now what I notice they don't have yet is where I can put probability of closing a deal and have some uh, a pipeline kind of built based on expected closures and, 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 and things like that. But I'm sure they'll come up with that soon. Let's go ahead and save that. And that's as easy as it is to customize. Now this is what's really powerful. Let's say you had a, a completely new type of thing you wanted to store in your CRM. You'll see they talk about campaigns, projects, and products and things like that. You can make your own table. So just like I customized that table, I can make my own table within this product, add my own fields, and then set my own permissions on who can see that table. So you could extend this CRM to support. You could extend it to literally anything you can imagine in your product. And that's why they talk about this being, you know, a fully customizable CRM. And when they bring that automation into place, which is not here yet, but coming, this is going to be really be a power. This is going to be a CRM to, to, to watch out for. So this is a quick intro. I hope you like this video. I hope you, you know, take a look at this product. It might really help your business. Uh, I do believe you need a CRM and you need a powerful one. So I'm going to continue to explore this. I might actually switch from HubSpot into this product. And I always tell you the tech smart boss, you got to be nimble. You got to be agile and go with the best technology for your business. And this one here uh, from a variety of reasons, some of which I talked about in this video, looking pretty good. Uh, if you do like this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Also, go out to our Facebook page and, and, and like us over there. We do some fun stuff over there. And stay tuned for another video soon. Talk to you next time.